Hi students, now this is our second part of demand and its analysis, it's part 2. What we discussed so far, it will just go through it. So we had three objectives in our last discussion uh, to understand demand and its determinant that we already covered to classify the demand and various types that is already done. Now in this discussion, we will try to analyze the demand using law of demand and other elements of it. So here, we will try to understand the exceptions to the law of demand and also try to analyze how those exceptions were cut out right and students your learning outcome would be you will try you can understand the products which do not follow law of demand and products which follows law of demand that right? you will be able to distinguish them that's the one thing and with uh, more details you will get more insight into such a products very quickly so there are situations and there are certain products this is do not follow law of demand right the law of demand you know devised by sir alfred marshall that demand varies inversely with price so if price falls demand rises price rises demand falls let me get a slide yes so not all products follow the law of demand equally right on the screen you can see there are certain products i have you know listed few of them just uh, give me a second here yes so you can see clearly whenever there is a festival you know it can be uh, diwali eid christmas uh, people celebrate those events festivals with their friends and families and they purchase products and services during those times law of demand is not followed just try to answer at your end why it is happening we will come to that later on there are some family events like marriages and sometimes birthdays where law of demand is not followed because uh, you know you are going to spend money you are determined to spend money fun events trips you are going out hiking biking traveling hoteling you want to enjoy Again, such places, such events, you you have pre decided, you are going to spend, you have made some arrangements. Law of demand is not followed. Another list is you can see the precious metals like platinum, gold, silver, and products like diamond diamond is of course not uh, precious metal but diamond is diamonds are very rare diamonds are very expensive where supply is very short right supply is very short demand is very high some uh, herbs medicinal oils they do have short supply and high demand so here law of demand again is not followed well right 
another example is space tourism right now you can see there is a less competition or no competition it's very unique concept taking the people out on a space tour and if you can just go and come back probably in a day or less than, less than that whatever and it can be very expensive it can be very unique it doesn't follow law of demand will not or any new superior technology like iphone in the market very expensive price rises demand rises sometimes so all these products we don't know suddenly they will start following law of demand but generally they do not follow law of demand right and there are reasons to that you can take some time out and try to answer why these products do not follow off demand now based on your observations right you can see the first part of this slide is based on your observations you can always list out some of the products which would follow law of demand you go to vegetable market you go to buy garments right you go for hoteling you have experience something whenever price rises how do you behave what you do do you keep buying the same amount of quantity or do you reduce the quantity so based on your experience we can list out the products in first column which follow law of demand right and there are certain products which occasionally follow law of demand and most of the times they do not follow law of demand that's the second column in last column those products which obviously do not follow law of demand you can try to list out i'll give you some hints right so very expensive cars very expensive cars they do not follow law of demand expensive perfumes or you can say the product which has some historical reference attached to it they do not follow law of demand because they are very rare and the very reason why law of demand is not followed is the human psychology number one that price may rise in future for certain products so whenever you see precious metals they get costlier and expensive price is rising and people want to buy more and more of it and whenever their price starts falling nobody wants to buy because they believe price would fall further so some products what we call them as inferior products they are very cheaply available take example of salt if somebody's earning is 1 lakh rupees per month and he is buying 1 kg of salt per month right in next few months if his income would double he will start earning 2 lakh rupees per month do you think he would buy more salt every month no he'll buy again same amount of salt so his income rises demand doesn't rise number one second certain products if they get cheaper if let's say price of the salt is rupees 20 per kg if that becomes rupees 10 per kg people are not going to buy more instead they would like to invest or spend that money somewhere else so these are the some of the reasons why law of demand doesn't follow another reason is whenever you have some marriages or events or festivals you are emotionally attached to it to some person maybe it's your daughter your son's marriage or it's an event it's a family event a fun event you are going for 
know, biking, hiking, fluttering and you have already accepted and decided that you are going to spend more regardless of what prices would be. So naturally law of demand will not follow here. Right? And uh, remember demand is the base of any economy. So whenever demand rises, economy is doing good. Whenever demand slows down, yes, economy also slows down. So demand is a base of economy. So in next few videos, we will see law of supply and elasticities of supply as well. Thank you. Thank you for your time.